Hello, welcome to today's lesson. This is the second half of the lesson on Concord. The last time I told you that Concord is an agreement, and I gave you three rules. Today I'll be giving you another three rules on Concord. Yes, last class the first rule I gave was subject verb agreement, and I said agreement of pronoun and antecedent, and also Concord involving complex conjunctions. Today I'll be giving you another three rules on Concord. All right, uh, rule number four is concord and indefinite pronoun. Concord and indefinite pronoun. And to explain this, we say indefinite pronouns do not refer to any amount, person, or thing in particular. And there are examples like everything, all, each, nothing, etc., etc. And all of this usually agree with singular form of the verb. Singular form of verb. So, Indefinite pronouns agree with singular form of verbs. I've given you examples there. Everything, all, each, nothing. So all of them, they don't refer to amount or person or anything in particular. And there are a few examples on this. Example one, we have everyone has gone home. Everyone has gone home. Nothing seems to be working. Nothing seems to be working. Number three, we have nobody shows interest. No, nobody shows interest. Number four, someone has taken my pen. And five, no one is going to attend to you. All of them are, um, have indefinite pronouns. Everyone, nothing, nobody, someone, and no one. They all agree with singular uh, verbs. Has for number one. Seems number two. Shows, has, and his in number five. So, they are all indefinite pronouns, seeing that they are agreeing with a singular form of the verb. Now, like we said in the definition, indefinite pronouns agree with singular form of the verb. Now, we are going to be moving from here to the next true. The next true. Um, and that is concord and collective nouns. Concord and collective nouns. That is, how do collective nouns agree with verbs? Now, um, here now, to explain the concord and collective noun, uh, we say that uh, if the collective noun refers to a group as single unit, you take it as singular. It is singular, but if it refers to members of a group individually, then it is taken as plural. I believe that's clear enough. You see the group together as a single unit is that to be singular when you are making it in a sentence. But when you see individuals, then to be plural. And examples. My family is the richest in Lagos. A herd of cattle has invaded my farm. The poor are to be taken care of. Number four. The public are not helping matters in the fight against the virus. Then number five. The crowd at the bank was enormous. For number one, the family are together. One unit. So is number two, they are also together the cattle, the herd of them, has the poor, so different people have different problems, so they are the public refer, uh, they are doing things in different ways. So that is everybody is uh, reacting in their own different ways, um, giving different attitudes. So and the last one, the crowd is enormous. The crowd, a group of them is enormous. Enormous big. the crowd is seen as one unit. The crowd at the bank was enormous. Enormous means big, all of them together. Now, the last rule for this topic is agreement of amount and figures. Agreement of amount and figures. Now, usually, figures and amounts are singular, but if a plural noun or pronoun appears in the subject position and is closer to the verb, the verb will be plural. Let's say there are two kinds of noun. But the one that is closer to the verb is plural, then the verb will be plural. If not, there's no plurality anywhere, everything remains singular, then the verb will be singular. So that is uh, that rule. That's the rule that governs that one. So the rule of proximity also takes place in this uh, case. Remember the rule of proximity? Closeness. Whichever is closer. Now, examples. 75% is good enough. Number two. 75% of our students are brilliant. Okay, number three now. 
10,000 Naira was withdrawn from their account. Number four, a four-week seminar starts tomorrow. And number five, four weeks has gone by. Now, for number one, we have 75%. That's a solid figure. 75% as a unit of figure is not 1 to 75, no. All of them together as a unit is now singular there. Then two, 75% of our students are brilliant. The cause of students there, I will have seen it as 75% as a solid figure there also. But then, students is coming there before the verb. So we are going to respect the students as plural and make the verb um, plural. Ha! Now, 10,000 Naira was withdrawn. 10,000 Naira as a unit of money, not 10 notes as it were. 10,000, all of the, the bulk of money together was withdrawn, singular was withdrawn. Then a four week seminar starts tomorrow. That A there makes the whole thing singular. A four week seminar, a unit of time. Four week seminar starts tomorrow. And the last one, four weeks has gone by. So whether I would even, you even put A or not, four weeks is a, a unit of time, a moment. Please pause the video here and try exercise one to ten. Pause your video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Do the assignments I gave. Submit them to my WhatsApp. And I'll see you next class. Bye.